Structure of Ocean Floor Continents and Oceans The lithosphere refers to the solid, rocky crust that covers the entire planet divided into the oceanic lithosphere and the continental. The hydrosphere covering three quarters of the Earth's surface includes all forms of water in the Earth's environment, including things such as the ocean, lakes, rivers, snow and glaciers, water underneath the Earth's surface and even the water vapor that is found in the atmosphere. Crustal plates are large sections of the outer layer of the Earth's surface that move along convection currents in the mantle. The continents and the ocean floor rest upon the plates. Geographical Explanation We know that the proportion of water and land is uneven on the Earth. Around 71% of the surface is covered by water, but there is land even below this water, which, like water, is not at the same level. Think about it. Just as we classify the various landforms on the Earth on the basis of altitude and the shape of the land, a similar classification can be done for landforms submerged under the water based on depth from the sea level and the shape of the land. Can you tell? Question. Name the landforms shown in the given diagram. Answer. Mountain, plateau, coast, continental slope, Continental Shelf, Submarine Plateau, Marine Deep Island. Question. What parameters were used for classifying the landforms on the Earth? Answer. Altitude and the shape of the land were the parameters used for classifying the landforms on the Earth. Question. What parameters were used for naming the landforms below water? Answer. Depth from the seafloor and the shape of the land were the parameters used for naming the landforms below water. Geographical explanation, the relief of ocean flow. Land submerged below oceanic water is called the ocean flow. The relief of ocean flow is decided upon by the depth of the sea flow and the shape of the land there. The average depth of the oceans is around 3,700 meters. The ocean bed is also uneven, like the land, on the continents. The ocean floor relief consists of all submerged landforms. The structure of the ocean floor differs from ocean to ocean. We will look at the sequence of landforms and the details of major landforms on the ocean floor. As we go away from the coast, the structure of the ocean floor changes. Let us study the ocean floor with the help of this diagram. Continental Shelf The land near the coast and submerged under the sea is called the Continental Shelf. This is the shallowest part of the ocean bed. It is called Submerged Coastland. Its slope is gentle. The extent of the Continental Shelf is not uniform everywhere. It is narrow along the coasts of some continents while it is broad for hundreds of kilometers and others. Its depth is up to 200 meters below the sea level. The continental shelf is very important from the point of view of humans. Extensive fishing grounds are found in the continental shelf. As this part is shallow, the sunlight reaches its bed. Algae, plankton, etc. grow here, providing food for fish. Natural gas, mineral oil and various minerals can be obtained by mining the continental shelf. For example, Mumbai High located on the continental shelf of the Arabian Sea is a source from where we obtain mineral oil and natural gas. Continental Slope After the extent of continental shelf is over, the slope of the seabed becomes steeper. This is called the continental slope. The depth of the slope is from 200 meter to 3,600 meters or more in some places. The continental slope is narrow. The lower boundary of the continental slope is considered to be the boundary of continents. 
Abyssal Plains Beyond the continental slope lie the abyssal plains, which are the flat part of the seabed. The abyssal plains consist of various submerged landforms like hills, plateaus, etc. Mountain ranges and plateaus. The hills and mountains found on the ocean bed are called submerged hills and mountains. These hills are hundreds of kilometers wide and thousands of kilometers long. Peaks of some of the submerged hills come above the sea level. They are visible to us as marine islands, like Iceland in the Atlantic Ocean and Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal. The summits of some marine islands are flat and extensive. They are called oceanic or submarine plateaus, such as Chagos Plateau in the Indian Ocean. Marine deeps and marine trenches. On the ocean bed, there are some landforms which are deep, narrow and steep. They are called marine deeps or trenches. Generally, the shallower ones are called marine deeps, while deeper ones and extending for longer distance are called trenches. The trenches are thousands of meters deep from the sea level. The Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean is the deepest trench in the world. Its depth is around 11,034 meters. The mid-oceanic submerged hills and marine trenches are geologically the most active areas of the ocean bed in the world. There are many active volcanoes here. These areas are also earthquake-prone areas. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occurring in the ocean bed give rise to tsunamis in the nearby coastal areas. Marine Deposition The marine beds are the deep parts of the world in respective regions. Hence, various deposits are found in these parts. The deposits are as follows. 1. Pebbles, clay, soil, etc. brought by rivers, glaciers, etc. from the continents deposited mainly on the continental shelf are called marine deposits. 2. Lava and ash erupting out of volcanic eruptions are also found here. Fine soil particles are deposited on a large scale. The remains of marine plants and animals are mixed in these deposits. This mixture is made up of fine particles and lies in the form of fine clay. This is around 30% of the deposits. These are called marine oozes. To understand the form of marine life in the ocean and the availability of minerals on the ocean bed, these deposits are very important. Sedimentary rocks are formed due to the depositing of layers over layers of the sediments and the pressure of seawater. 3. Besides, some human-included materials is also found here. This includes sewage, solid waste, radioactive material, waste chemicals, plastics, etc., which prove hazardous to the hydrosphere. These materials are extremely harmful to the marine life and its environment. Though the polluting components are less, their nuisance value is more. Always remember. Mean sea level. Elevation or depth of any place is measured from the sea level. The average of the highest high tides and the lowest low tides is considered as mean sea level. This average is taken to be zero and altitudes or depths are measured and shown in positive or negative values. For example, Mount Everest is 8,848 meters high and Mariana Trench is 11,034 meters. For survey purpose in India, the height of sea level at Chennai is considered to be zero and the elevation of any place in India is measured with reference to this. Give it a try. Question. Look at this map of the ocean floor and identify the ocean. Answer. Indian Ocean. Question. Can you identify and name the submerged landforms shown in the diagram? Answer. Mid-ocean ridge which shows up as islands, for example, Madagascar. Question. Which region would be ideal for fishing and why? Answer. Madagascar Island with a narrow continental shelf 
the meeting place of warm and cold currents is ideal for fishing. Always remember, deposition of many materials coming from land keeps occurring in the seas and oceans. This is in the form of natural deposits and sediments. But man disposes unwanted materials in the sea. This poses a hazard to the ocean bed and sea water. Also, it is harmful to marine life. We must keep in mind that the biodiversity found in seas and oceans is higher than on the land. Use your brain power. In this diagram, observe the materials mentioned which have come with the waves and answer the following questions. Question. Which of these are perishable items? Answer. Plants, conches and shells, aquatic animals. Question. Which are non-perishable? Answer. Chemicals, metals and plastic and glass. Question. What will happen because of perishable items? Answer. The remains of perishable items will get deposited as marine ooze on the ocean bed without causing pollution. Question. What will happen because of non-perishable items? Answer. They will create pollution of the sea coast and ocean water. Question. Suggest measures to control deposition of non-perishable items on the coast. Answer. Plastic bags, glass containers must be prohibited on the sea coast. Strict action should be taken against offenders carrying the banned products on the sea coast. Codings explaining the importance of clean coasts must be displayed along the sea coasts. Question. How will you run a campaign for environmental conservation to keep the coasts clean? Answer. Display hoardings explaining the importance of clean coasts along sea coasts. Arrange street plays, dramas, etc. highlighting the importance of clean coasts. Arrange special programs during the festivals like Ganesh Utsav, Diwali and Christmas, etc. to keep the sea coasts clean. Do you know, while studying the ocean floor, we must keep in mind the age of the ocean bed. By studying the deposits on the ocean bed, it occurred to the scientists that the deposits at the ocean floor are not older than 200 million years. The maximum age of the rocks on the continents is supposed to be 3,200 million years. Then where have the deposits on the seabed which are older than 200 million years gone. This made the scientists restless. Then they started the study of the rocks along with the deposits. This made them realize that the rocks are also not older than 200 million years. It was inferred that the ocean floor is very young as compared to the Earth's surface. Now this is unanimously accepted. This research was then used in the study of the concept of plate tectonics.